Hey everybody, welcome back. This is week 10 of Messages of Hope and our focus for this week is your failure is not final. So let's start with reading a few scriptures and uh, we're going to start with Lamentations 3, 21 through 26. It says, This I recall to mind, therefore have I hope. It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because His compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, saith my soul. Therefore will I hope in Him. The Lord is good unto them that wait for Him, to the soul that seeketh Him. It is good that a man should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of the Lord. And also, I want to draw your attention to one more scripture. It's found in Proverbs chapter 24 and verse 16. And that is kind of the theme verse for this uh, chapter. And that is, For a just man falleth seven times, and riseth up again, but the wicked shall fall into mischief. How many of you have ever failed? Man, I think if somebody says, yeah, I've never failed, I'm good. I think you are delusional because I think all of us fail. We all make mistakes. We all uh, find ourselves as failures at times. But, you know, one of the things that uh, we've got to understand, we've got to get down in our spirit today, is failure is not final. Just because you've failed, that doesn't necessarily make you a failure. Uh, just because you've failed, that means you have found better ways to do things, and the way that you tried it did not work. Uh, I remember reading not too long ago about some people who had done something, they tried to do something, and they failed, and they were wondering why it was so complicated, why it was so hard. And uh, the, the, the statement was made, and you've probably heard something like this before, but if it was, if it was worth doing, it was definitely going to be complicated. If it was worth doing, if it was worth getting right, uh, that it was going to take some effort, it's going to take some labor. You know, when you fail, the devil enjoys beating you up. He enjoys really making it, making life hard on you. Um, and you've got to understand that when you fail, uh, you make a mistake, that doesn't mean everything's over. That doesn't mean you, you, you give up and you quit. Uh, you got to keep pressing on. You got to keep believing that God is going to take care of things, and God has got you right where He wants you. Sometimes we don't turn to God until we actually fail, until we, can't, we realize we can't do this on our own. And so if you feel worthless, if you feel hopeless, and you think, man, there's no way this is going to work for me, I want to encourage you today. Your failure is not final. final. God has got you right where He wants you to be. Uh, you're going to fail, and, and you need to just accept that. I'm going to fail. There's going to be times where I'm going to do things, it's not going to work out like I want it to, and I am going to fail. But your failure is not final. And uh, so don't play the devil's game, you know. Uh, everybody fails. And if, if he tells you that you're the only one, he's a liar. And we know that. Uh, you know, the only one that was ever perfect was Jesus Christ, and they crucified him. So you might fall down, but you got to get back up again. You might fail and things may not go well for you, but you can get back up and you can, you can go at this again. Uh, one of the reasons I think that people stop growing and they stop learning is because they resign themselves to failure. Well, I just failed. I'll, I've always failed. I'll always be a failure. Uh, that's not necessarily true. Um, we might be troubled. We might be stressed out. We may feel like things are never going to get better. Uh, but Paul says, even though we're, we're you know, perplexed, we're, 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 we're being barraged on every side, we're still not in despair. Why? Because God is in control. God knows what is best for us. And, you know, you read about people who, uh, like Thomas Edison, who performed 50,000 experiments before they succeeded in producing a storage battery. And you say, man, that's horrible. You know, how could, how could somebody uh, do that? And you may have uh, doubts about yourself. You may, you know, wonder about yourself. And somebody uh, mentioned to Edison, they said, you know, that's, how, how could you not become discouraged? And he said, well, what do you mean I didn't have results? He said, uh, you know, I, I did. He said, I found out 50 things, 50,000 things that wouldn't work. And sometimes, you know, in our lives, we, we have to uh, have a better look, outlook on life. We have to have a more positive outlook on life. Because things are not always going to be easy. Sometimes things are going to be tough. But you can make it. You can do this. God is on your side. Uh, you know, we read about several people in the Scripture. We read about people who uh, were good people. They were, they were you know, faithful people. 
uh, Peter, you know, Peter jumps out of the boat and he's going to come to Jesus. And, um, you know, Jesus like, you know, come on, Peter. And Peter jumps out there and things are going well until he gets his eyes off of Jesus. And then he starts sinking and he fails. And a lot of people are like, man, wow, Peter, you're such a failure. Uh, Peter's the only one besides Jesus who's ever walked on the water. So that's not really a failure. And uh, you're going to fail. And, and, you know, anytime you try something, anytime you attempt something for God, you will most likely, in some way, shape, or form, you will fail. Uh, but your failure is not final. you got to keep going after it because God has some great things in store for you. Um, you know, whenever you look at the lives of people throughout Scripture, David failed, Moses failed, uh, Peter failed, uh, you know, all these different people in Scripture that fail. The only ones that, you, that, that end with a sad story are the ones who gave up and they said, I'll always be this way, it's always going to be like this. The ones who pressed on and they said, you know what, God's not finished with me yet. My failure's not final. I know I may have messed up. I know things may not be how uh, they should be right now, but God is going to help me. He's going to see me through. Uh, there's going to be people who, when you fail, they're going to they're leave you. They're going to make fun of you. They're going to talk about you. But don't give up. Your failure is not final. Many people have failed, and some people have failed many times. And uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter how many times you have failed, how many times you have messed up. God has begun a good work in you, and He wants to perform it. He wants to complete it. He's got some very special things that He wants to do in your life. You need to just trust Him. You need to allow Him... Uh, to, to guide you. Don't give up now. Don't, don't quit now. Um, whatever it is that you're facing, you know, whatever failure that you are dealing with right now, maybe it's a failure with your finances, maybe a failure in a relationship, maybe it's a failure, you feel like you failed in raising your kids or doing things, you know, in a way that would please God. Don't give up now. God is not finished with you yet. I, I want to give you um, some, some great uh, encouragement. I, I read once about Charles Kettering. He was a great inventor, and he said, you need to learn how to fail intelligently. And he says, you know, once you fail, you need to analyze the problem. You need to find out why you fail, because every failure can become a cathedral of success. Uh, the only time that you don't want to fail is the last time that you try. So he, he gives us three suggestions, and I do want to mention these three suggestions because I found them to be powerful in my life uh, for turning failure into success. So the first thing he says that you should do is you should honestly face defeat. Um, you know, if you mess up, just admit it. Own it. Say, man, I did. I, I messed up. I, I, I can't believe it. I blew it. <laughs> and, and just say, look, it, it's a failure. I, 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 I own it, and, and that's, it's just the way it is right now. But don't fake success. Don't act like, oh, it's, it's okay. It's, it's no big deal. Somebody else's fault. It's their fault. It's their reason that I messed up. It, uh, you know, if, if they would have done something differently, then I would have been okay. No, own it. If you messed up, if you made a mistake, if you failed, just say it. I failed. I blew it. Uh, the second thing he says is to exploit the failure. He says, don't waste it. You need to learn from it. You need to, okay, what can I learn from this? What is it that I just did that was so stupid that I don't ever want to do that again? And, you know, if it was a, a relationship, you know, I've learned some things in relationships that I, I've, I wish I had known before I failed. I wish I had known before I messed it up. Um, but make those failures teachable moments in your life. Nobody has to teach you. Sometimes stupid hurts, right? Uh, sometimes your failure is the best teacher that you can have in your life because it helps you to learn those, those teachable moments that you, you, you need to know. And thirdly, uh, he says, purpose to never do it again. So if you uh, are honest with yourself, you're honest about your defeat, you exploit it, you learn from it, and then if you, uh, you purpose to never do it again, don't, don't make it an excuse. Don't, don't, don't uh, you know, uh, say, well, you know, if, if this had been, you know, situations had been different, if the settings had been different, then, you know, it would have been better. Um, you know, if you messed up with your kids, own it. Sit down with your kids and tell them, say, I messed up. I shouldn't have done this. This is, you know, this is what needs to happen now. I, I want you to become who God wants you to be. And we're becoming who God wants us to be. And, uh, you know, if you messed up with, with somebody on your job, if, you, if you've uh, failed in some way and you, you feel like you failed God or you feel like you failed maybe somebody in your, in your group or, uh, you know, don't, don't just, just own it. Just be honest about it. 
and then exploit it, learn from it, and purpose that you're never going to do it again. Um, you know, the, the Scripture, I want to draw your attention back to our Scripture out of Proverbs that says that a just man falls seven times. It doesn't say a just man might fall seven times. It says a just man falls. You are going to fall. You are going to, to fail. You're going to make mistakes. Uh, it, it really is unavoidable. But what is uh, uh, avoidable is for you to quit trying, for you to just give up. Uh, if you say today, you know what, I failed, I'm a failure, there's never going to be anything good come out of my life, then you might as well just quit. I mean, just give up. It's, it's all over. But if you say, you know what, I'm going to be like the just man who falls seven times, but every time I'm going to get back up again, every time I'm going to, if I, I didn't pray like I should have this week, I'm going to pray like I should today. I didn't, you know, I haven't fasted. I haven't been keeping my fasting days and I want to get closer to God. I failed. I was supposed to fast yesterday. I'm going to fast today. Uh, you know, you may have some things in your life that you, you feel like I've failed at. I've messed up and I've really blown it. Well, purpose that you're never going to do that again. You're never going to allow that to become uh, 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 you're just going to accept failure into your life. No, don't accept failure because your failure is not final. God has some incredible things that He wants to do in your life. Pray every day. Seek after Him every day. Learn from those mistakes. And guess what? You're going to find out very soon your failure is not final. God has greater things in store for you. Before we get into the discussion questions, I want to just pray for you. I want to pray that God would, would minister to each and every one because I feel like um, even in my life, this lesson has been so important that uh, I, I make a lot of mistakes. I do a lot of things that I wish I could undo and redo. Uh, and thank God for His grace and mercy because He always gives me another chance. And uh, so I want to pray for you today. Lord Jesus, I pray for those that are listening today, those that are hungry, God, to become everything that you have for them to be. I pray, God, that you would help them to realize that their failure is not final. Whatever ways that they've blown it or made mistakes, whatever ways that they have uh, maybe let you down or let someone else down, God, you have uh, given them and are giving them a second chance and another chance to make things right. Help them, God, to be honest about those defeats and, Lord, to uh, learn from those uh, teachable moments and, God, for the, them to purpose to never go back to that again and help them to learn and to become overcomers. Uh, through you because we have that power in your name. And God, we thank you for what you're going to do and we give you the glory today in Jesus' name. Amen. Lastly, let me just say thank you so much. Thank you for being a part of Messages of Hope. I hope that you've enjoyed this uh, time together and we look forward to what God is going to continue to do in your lives, in your families, in our church, and in our community. I'm excited to say uh, congratulations, welcome to a, a brand new life that God has for you. If you'll realize your failure's not final, the sky is the limit. God bless you. Have a great week.